Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Alicia Monet, and I am, it is yeah. April the 25th, Saturday. It is raining out here in Sunny California, which I feel is so <sighs> reflective of what is happening inside of me with all of the shedding and clearing and cleaning and cleansing inside of myself. So I'm very appreciative that the in the outside is reflecting my inside right now. I think that it's so beautiful. Um, I want to talk about the World Mission Society Church of God right now. Well, while I was there, I want you guys to know I'm not here to bash the World Mission Society Church of God. Mm -mm. That's not my goal. That's not my intention. I love all my brothers and sisters who were there, who I shared memories with. I'll never forget you guys. I love you guys. That's not my point. My point is to heal. And in healing, I will share my experience that happened while I was at the Royal Mission Society Church of God. Now, I learned so many beautiful things while I was there. Some of those lesson lessons were very harsh, like the chopping away of my ego. And um, things like that. I... I, I don't have any specific examples right now. I don't want to share any specific examples. I don't want to say anybody's name and who was involved, but I will say this. That I was publicly um, reprimanded, corrected. And I was told that I was publicly corrected in order so that I can serve as an example of what not to do in front of brothers and sisters so they'll know better. Um, I was talked to by brothers and sisters after I would be publicly humiliated sometimes. Brothers and sisters would come up to me and be like, you know what? You handled that very well. Or you know what? You are so humble. Like, you took that and you just, you know. Because I would be like, first of all, I believe that everything that was coming was from love. I still believe that it was it was all love. Sometimes some people had some power issues. And it was a power trip thing. Um, but I, I thought that it was like father and mother, you know, using them to communicate to me things that I needed to change. I knew. I knew when I was there that I had a lot of cleaning up to do on the inside. So I wasn't um, afraid or ashamed to... I don't know what just happened. I wasn't afraid or ashamed to um, acknowledge that, you know, maybe you have a point. So when people corrected me, I just took it. I just was like, oh, okay, let me internalize this and see, like, where, what could be inside of me that needs to come out or purge. I'm just a sinner anyway. And I mean, like, I, I went from being... Um, talkative and all these things to being quiet not completely because that's so impossible but being quiet and being like okay I was just they they I don't like to say they it humbled me a lot let's just say and sometimes the process of humbling me was not pleasant and hurt my feelings a lot of times and I would just take it and pray about it and be like I'm so sorry and repent my behavior I had somebody come up to me and tell me Alicia you have a lot of potential to be a very good gospel worker 
It was so inspiring. It's have so much passion and fervor. And I really want you to be able to be a gospel worker. But there are some things you need to change about yourself. I'm like, huh? One, you got to take that nose ring out. And she wanted to tell me that the nose ring was um, not the example of mother. And I can't be so close to the brothers. I need to not go preaching with them, especially this one brother in particular, she said, because he has a history of infidelity. And I don't need to be associated with him because it's a bad look. I'm like, I come to the morning meetings, preaching meetings, and if they pair me with him. Like, what am I supposed to say? No, because he has a history of infidelity. I don't want to be paired with him. But anyways, I didn't say anything. Now listen, I don't have a poker face. I don't. You can totally read what's going on with me. So I'm like, and I said it too, like, well, if I'm being paired, I don't just go up to brothers and like, let's go preaching together. Would you like to go preaching with me? <laughs> what do you think? Hmm? Would you? Would you like to go preaching with me? No. I go to preaching meetings and they go, okay, brother so-and-so and sister so-and-so. Brother so-and-so and brother so-and-so. Sister so-and-so. I don't make that. I don't have nothing to do with that. Um... Yeah, but she told me that basically I was too bright. I need to tone it down some. Like, I'm just too up here. I need to just tone it down. My energy was just too much. I need to tone it down. And then maybe I might be considered <laughs> for being a group leader or something. Because while I was there, I changed a whole lot. My family will tell you. My friends will tell you. But I didn't change completely. I still have my personality. I still talk to people about their worldly troubles. I still did those things that were not characteristic of a good gospel worker. So because of that, I was kind of like, I was did in a weird way, I felt that I was treated differently. I was in a league of my own. Because I got along with everybody. I was friends with everybody. I talked to everybody. I mean, most people do. But, I mean, I really spent time with different groups. Spanish-speaking groups. The brothers, the sisters, the old, the young, the kids. I talked to children for two years. So, I was, like, cool with everybody. And I helped everybody. And that's just not what you do. You stick to your own group. You can say hi to people, but you don't get involved with them like that. I did because I'm like, these are my brothers and sisters. I love you. And that's just who I am. Like, so that didn't that didn't uh, that didn't change while I was there. Um. Yeah. I just remember feeling like. I couldn't be myself, so I concluded that myself wasn't good enough to be, to be, and that it was wrong. Myself, my bubbly personality, my zaza zing wasn't, uh-uh, that was sin. I needed to change that. And so through Mother's teachings... And, like, picking up from everybody that, yo, take out that nose ring, put on some stockings, and not no glittery stockings either. Take those glittery stockings off, those colorful stockings, and wear some nude stockings or coffee, since you were a little dark. You can wear some coffee-colored stockings, some regular ones, and tone it down, okay? My wardrobe went from bright colors with glitter and sparkles two black brown nude navy blue maybe some red yeah some red 
And that was it. Don't let me come up in there with no makeup on or anything. First of all, I rarely wear makeup, but I went through this one little rebellious phase while I was there. Where I had my nose ring right here. <laughs> no, I had it here, but it was a it was a ring. It was like a, a hoop. And I had makeup on. Mm-hmm. Lime green. Eyeshadow. Yup. Mm-hmm. With some purple stockings. Yup. Sure did. I was feeling a little rebellious. But I still brought people. I still preached to everybody everywhere I went. And I still felt guilty about it too afterwards. But yeah. So it was crazy. It was really crazy. Anyways, I just wanted to share that. 